In this video, let us look into the relationship between the HCF and LCM of two numbers. Say for example, we've got A and B as two numbers. Right? If, if A and B are two numbers and, and say we've got HCF and LCM of both these numbers, then the product of the numbers equals the product of their HCF and their LCM. So that is the relationship between the HCF and the LCM. So now from this, you know, from this relationship, we can use this in different ways. Say you can find LCM of two numbers when they're, uh, when the numbers and the HCF are given. So that will be A times B divided by HCF or HCF equals A times B divided by LCM. Remember the A and B are the two numbers uh, whose LCM, sorry, whose uh, LCM we are finding by using their HCF. Or again, in this case also, A and B are those two numbers um, uh, whose HCF you're finding by using its LCM as well. So that is what this is all about. So this is quite an easy and an important relationship to find, you know, to solve a lot of problems based on HCF and LCM. Also, you can find, you know, when HCF and LCM of two numbers are given and one of the numbers is missing, you can use this relationship to find that as well. So it's pretty uh, simple video, a small quick video to just, you know, let, let you know the relationship between HCF and LCM of two numbers. So this ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with problems based on the relationship between the HCF and the LCM of two numbers.